Hi everyone, I hope you're all. This is Coins Kid. Just gonna dive into Bitcoin, big little coins kick crew. So right now Bitcoin's coming back down. You've lost this low, so you're retracing to this low at the moment. Okay, let's keep it simple. Lose this low just there, because at the minute I think that this is what you're doing, okay? Uh, you caught between support and resistance. This is your primary support, and this is your primary resistance just there for Bitcoin, okay? So if you do start to lose that uh, low just there, you've got an impulsive wave to the downside, you break that resistance, you've got an impulsive wave to the upside. It's really really simple so at the moment what we do we drop some fibs on to see the levels okay so this is how you work out your target so from here this low run to resistance and you're coming back now this looks quite impulsive to the downside doesn't it like i said to you but it actually still could be corrective and the reason is i'll show you right now that potentially in the a wave of an abc correction you do usually have five waves and we did count these didn't we uh, like this let me show you we've got this potential one two three or five like that okay do you see that so you've got one two big three four five just there and what you've done you put in some kind of irregular uh, expanded flat correction just there a b c correction let me show you uh, just there so this was an a wave up this was a b wave down this is c leg boom job done okay and right now you're looking like you're coming down the stairs in a c leg possibly okay where you've got five waves usually you have five waves in the c leg so if we take a look at this what we've got is a uh, potential one two three four five all the way back down to these lows which is basically a wave two correction okay that would confirm to me that if you hold these lows okay and you start to come back up here and you take out this high that would confirm to me that this was a wave two correction right now okay um, what you've got is this this is a wave one leading diagonal okay and then what you've done you put in a wave two correction where you've not lost these lows and it's all about holding these lows this is the bullish scenario show you everything okay so hold them lows start to come back up this is your wave three which breaks that level strong level resistance puts you up there somewhere and then wave four boom like that and then this could be deemed as big big wave one off the lows right there for bitcoin okay so obviously you know to negate that what we have to do is lose these one uh, the one fib just here at 17542 uh, for bitcoin if we lose that then you know this bullish scenario is out the window and what we've got here is uh, this let me show you we've got this potential correction and then what we've got is a potential one okay which came down to there this is a wave two and right now you're in a wave three okay so within this wave three you should see wave three lose that low okay which is an impulsive move to the downside and this no longer longer becomes corrective this will become impulsive to the downside and you know your minimal target would be all the way down there at the one two seven two fib where potentially relative resistance and then you've got a final leg down there to the 1618 at fourteen thousand and four dollars right there but that would start to see bitcoin lose these lows and it could be quite devastating for the crypto markets right there if that particular level of support is not hold for me okay because i think obviously you could say you're in a massive bear market but i think you know you could be in deep deep trouble and i will do an update uh, for you on my projected targets you know if it does happen it is a big if as well so the bullish scenario right now is the fact that this is impulsive and this is still correct some kind of abc correction like i said to you carving out the bottom right here we're potentially retracing to the lows you don't necessarily lose it and you start to break out okay and if we do start to see that you know we, we're going to be in some beautiful technical targets of the upside now we did do something very very similar at the end of the a wave last year and i'm going to go through this with you when everyone was getting really really bearish okay and you know we're coming up into resistance and rolling back to support if we come down here sweep the lows but don't lose them you could see how to say okay what we've got is this beautiful double bottom come up and you know triple bottom like that over a long period period of time and you could say okay we break that resistance we, you know you've got to go along basically and that's the structure we're looking for so you know it's it's easy to say here that this is impulsive but it's easy to say that it's corrective as well it is either or okay so again you know it's all about losing this one fib lose the one fib impulsive wave to the downside hold it start to come back up you've got an opportunity here okay when others are really really fearful that we're looking at some kind of big big breakout and some kind of short squeeze at support for bitcoin like i said to you a few weeks ago as a potential scenario so you know what happened last year well in my opinion this is the c wave that's potentially complete right now if we take a look at the the end of the uh, a wave just there like i said to you we've got this low that was anticipating it was a target i was looking at and give everyone because that swing low just there when we're coming down and the target was met but you can see here when we came up we came into the ma it's got this beautiful retracement back down back down back down and it's at this point here i tell everyone look you've met your target right now would be a really really good area to go long because you're looking at a beautiful impulsive move here up to the 1618 okay providing you break this eye no one believed me but i said to people at the time put your stops on this low and go long here okay because this is could be a golden opportunity when i was really really fearful and i'll show you and this is the end of the a wave okay so look you can see just there this is your low 
this year high. You came back up and you broke it. Look at the 1618. And that was my target. It was on the thumbnails. You know, when we was all the way down here, I said Bitcoin's going to a minimal 51K, you know, and it was a 75% long opportunity when I was really fearful of continuation of this whopping downtrend after you'd had your correction and everything was done, basically. So, you know, we, we've done everything we need to just there to say the correction's in. And simply what we're doing at the moment is we're tracing to this low. We've not lost it yet. There's always the possibility of losing it but if we've not okay and we are doing what we did last year where we put in the low and then right now we came into resistance and all we did we retraced to it without losing it if we do start to carve out this out then i'm going to show you exactly where bitcoin's going to so let's say for example what we've got here is a final fifth wave where you know you come down this pinch of one is two you got three then you're four and then you're five which retests these lows but doesn't lose it that could say okay we've got this a this b this c which is a wave two correction this is a leaning diagonal wave one this is some kind of wave two correction and then you've got your wave three okay if it is the case the bullish scenario right now obviously would be this okay and like i've always said to you minimize your risk because right here you know you could actually build long positions and put your stop right on that low okay and if it loses it you've lost this opportunity to make a 75 percent upside because from here if we do start to come down again in another way five and we retrace i don't know around to about 18k no one gets really fearful i think your next projected target is 31k you know you're not going to believe me but it did it last year okay so off that low all the way up you're looking at another 73 percent long up and if bitcoin does start to do that you could see how it's a very powerful way free uh you know which this was as well if we take a look at this this is a one this is a two pretty much like this is a one this is a two okay and then we've got a big big way free which consists of f f uh, you know subsets of waves which got to the one six one eight so very very similar scenario playing out uh, you know this is why i can't be bearish until we've lost these lows now there are a lot of data driven lows here telling us that you know data seven signals telling us that then will are lows so right now this could actually be a, an absolute amazing opportunity amazing opportunity because just there if it does come down to this particular level around about 18k you know you've got what you've got around about 1.99 percent loss for a potential 75 percent gain do you understand so that's basically trading ranges there is an absolute chance that this could play out like this okay and this is not corrective and this is not impulsive okay this could actually be impulsive this could be corrective and you could be looking at impulsive drive all the way up to the 1618 for bitcoin okay some kind of short squeeze at support so you know i've got no crystal ball i can't guarantee anything but i always try and show you the optimal entry points and the opportunities you know so again minimize your risk minimize your loss that's basically a little trade setup for you uh, going forward now is there any confluence to this particular scenario possibly in the sense that i'm seeing a lot of altcoins really test their lows at the moment and if we do start to see them break out you know xrp Chainlink, um cardano we've got you know a lot of coins v chain really testing the lows. so this could actually be a possibility right now that we could start to see some kind of bounce here which will be a wave four then a final wave five coming down everyone's like oh no and then the spring pretty much like we've got here okay and if we do start to do that all you're doing is mirroring uh the last last leg out just there for bitcoin take care everyone hope you enjoyed that update stay off station stay tuned remember you can do all this on buy a bit you can go short you can go long stop losses always use stop losses don't be a degen don't ever leverage take care everyone the links are in the video description Bye bye